actually keep more than I should pay for. Well, I'm sorry, I guess I have to touch you with the iPhone. Yeah. No, 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 you don't have to do that. I'll go for them. But how much do you feel like you're playing? I'm not left with you. My name is Dr. Mewara, but my friends call me back. I'm a student, so I'll see if my dad in his business. So what's your name? Well, my name is Esther Dike. I'm back. Well, Esther, it's my pleasure. Pleasure is so much. I will ask you to do Here is my time. You can call me. I will. <laughs> I never thought of that until the shop attendant told me I had 300 naira extra to pay. And I was where did this young man build it? I hope you are not going to form the habit of receiving gifts from strangers. Are you? It was mom. It was only helping out. Be very careful. I'm sorry, mom. It will happen next time. That's better. Over the weekend. Why not this evening? Okay. Bye bye. Here, but besides, it's too early. I'm not ready for that yet. Yes, 
Listen. You don't really know how much I need you. I'm scared. I am not sending you to school to join any secret form or give back to me. You must let me have value for you. I am presented in your university education. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am looking forward to having a lawyer in my home. Promise me one thing that you won't be quite I want to go. There's no way I can do without them. Our lecturers have been stopped from selling handouts to us. Sir. Yes, Mom. What happened to the money your father gave you only two days ago? Mom, it was not enough to buy all the books. Books are expensive these days. When are you going back to school? That'll be first year. Why not tomorrow morning? At least to give your father time enough to make the money available. Oh, that's all right, my dear. It's okay. You can leave us now. Thank you, Mom.
see, I don't even find a house in this campus. I'm scared. Why? Let's go. What's the problem? First two months. I've not seen my period. Esther, no. Hmm? Okay, no. Who, who could be responsible for this? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? What do you mean do I do? How many guys do you see in this campus? Sorry. Okay. Easy. Bye. Oh. Huh? Okay. Oh, God. Yes, I'm just going to do I think that's what you're going to do. You're just going to see him right there. Stop crying. So, no, no, no. No, no, no. Huh? no. So that has been dating another girl. <laughs> I thought he was a responsible guy. Anyway, I just told him about the pregnancy. <laughs> oh, I was not ready to tell him. I saw him on top of that that girl. I don't think I ever talk to him again. So what are you going to do about it, Esther? What? No. Uh, are, you, are you going to drive the ocean? Go for me. Do you want me to die? But that's your only option. My cousin died recently after committing an abortion. <laughs> so my father will call me into business. She gets to know about it, baby. Thank you. I need to leave school. Why? Do Please help me touch your grandma. At least let me stay with her until after the birth of the baby. You are my only hope now, Sora. What of the fellowship I invited you the other time? You didn't come. So, I'm inviting you again. 
you remember, the word of God says, we are not ignorant of the work, devices of the devil. If you're not close to God, Satan will lead you to join the sacred court and you will end up not only messing up your education, but your life. Beside that, you must repent because the judgment day of fire and brimstone is coming. So, I want you to join us in this fellowship. I was thinking about it. But we need you there. You see, this is a spiritual of upliftment. So we need you to be there to enjoy the banquet, the spiritual one with us. What time are you looking for fellowship tomorrow? 4 p.m. I'll be there. Okay. Right. You'll be welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I brought her here to stay with you till she delivers. Hmm. Hmm. All right, my door is open, but I will tolerate unruly behavior. Thank you very much, Mama. No problem. Hmm. My daughter, how are you? Fine, thank you. Is this your first time of being pregnant? Yes, you children of nowadays are too stubborn. Eh? I hope you have enough money. As you can see, I don't have anything to offer. Mama, huh? no problem. I'll see what I can do about it. It's all right. Click on it. Oh God, I hand over everything to you. God, come to my aid. I don't have any direction. In fact, I don't know what to do. I'm no longer happy. Oh, come on, help me. Help me, Lord. What is it that I'm hearing about? That you want to go to a seminary school? Yes, sir. Are you sure you're all right? That I'm all right. It was I want to spend the rest of my life working for God. So you really mean to go to seminary school? Yes, God. I want to attend the seminary school. Remember, I told you long ago I want to be a Reverend Father. Yeah. Reverend Father? Yes, God. Ah. 
okay. It's all right. So when are you starting? As soon as I can, Dad. Bartholomew. Mom. Have you gone to the place to make inquiries? Yes, Mom. I have everything. I have all the requirements. people in this country. A man picked up a bag containing 50,000 naira. Cool 50,000 naira. And he returns it back to the owner. Returns the money on toast. Honestly, this is incredible. At a period like this, no naira is hard to get. I spent much money to keep this family. What money? What family? Well, I just did it. I know this. Ah. <laughs> I start. We have not really heard from Esther recently. There's nothing wrong with Esther. You the young lady alone. There's nothing wrong with her. She is old enough to take care of herself. Yes. Yes. 
Good afternoon. Hello, young man. I have a letter for Mr. and Mrs. Dickens. Yes. Yes. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Workshop which ran into our break, so that was why I couldn't come home last holiday. Please, I know you will be worried about me. I'm very much okay, so please don't worry. I shall come home next holiday. I love you, mom and dad. Bye. Hey, thank God, though. Finally, we heard from her. Oh, my baby. I just don't see you. It's not enough. I have to go. I live in you. For reasons that are beyond my control. But I know that God will never leave you. He will always be with you. I love you. I'm so sorry. Father, I've sinned against you and an innocent child. Have mercy on me and forgive me. Lord, I've come back to the place where I abandoned my baby. And nobody could tell me the whereabouts of Mama and my child. Remember, Lord, you said in First John chapter one, verse nine, that if we repent of our sins, that you will willingly forgive us and cleanse us from every unrighteousness. Lord, I know you have forgiven me. I have been supposed to become a reverend sister. And all my life, serving you in your house. Are you alone? I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. 
that they are no longer possible. Sister, I understand what you mean. I thank God for what we have today. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> No, 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 Master. Please, Master, no, no. Manuel is my favorite child, Master. I love him so much. Please, choose some other child. I beg you. You dare disobey me? Then you must die in this place.
me come and kill us. Why? Please help God. Tell you everything later. You go first. Something tells me in my mind that I should take care of this children. Taking them to the police would not be good. Come on, sir. Bye bye. Bye, honey. Yeah. Bye bye. Come over. Come over. Let me help you. Let me help you with your shoes. Where is the brush? Get the brush. I'm being a good girl, okay? Okay? Don't fight at school. Okay? I'll give money a hug. That's my girl. Now run along. Bye bye, honey. Dear, something very, very special about this kid. Darling. Yes, ma'am. Ever since this kids came into this house. Things have, have really changed for good. That's true. Business is really booming. We are back on track. I feel so too, darling. Right. God is great. Very, very great. He is great. Very, very great. Dear? Yes. You know what? I'm thinking of something. Dedicating these children in a special way to God. Actually, they are the reason I'm here. Okay. I have come to ask you a few questions about them. Go ahead. You know the ordination is about to take place. And uh, it is the custom of the seminary to carry out preliminary investigations okay. on the deacons before they are ordained. The question I have to ask you is, is there any history of mental illness in the family? Mental illness? No, not at all. What about uh, epilepsy? Any case of epilepsy? Epilepsy? Yes. No, no. See, the truth of the story is that uh, we adopted those children. Oh, you adopted them? Yes. That's interesting. And I believe God himself handed them over to us. They are the reason for our prosperity. I can see that myself. Thank God. Um, I have no further questions. 
Uh, we've been leaving now. Oh, finish up your drink, Reverend. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Please greet Madam for me. Thank you. Bye bye. My lord, during my investigations, I found out that Emmanuel and Bobby were adopted children. They were brought up by a couple called Mr. and Mrs. George. Uh, yes, I've heard that story before. And the person does not want them to become priest. I also discover it's not sufficient reason to disqualify them. Your lordship, I hope we're not making mistakes here. How can adopted men we know little or nothing about their background? You're then priest. The law, with due respect, I don't, I'm not in support of that. The fact that they were adopted does not change God's plans for them. The canon law in Vatican II shows that they are qualified. Since there is no criminal involvement relating to them, I think they are qualified to become priests. Your Lordship is, is like they are floating on the air and is against the role of the Catholic Church. I want you to believe it that the law guiding all of us in the Roman Catholic doctrine, the Vatican law states that they are qualified and does it. <laughs>
really proved worthy of your son. And the promise of one which I have kept, I have to fulfill it. Yeah. Uh, Bobby, let me see your car key. <laughs> and uh, Emmanuel. <laughs> Congratulations! Yeah, very good. Congrats! God, very good. Congrats! 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 I'm so happy. Thank you. Are you the one posted to my parish? Yes, Father. You're welcome. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Thank you. Something like that happened to me. <laughs> Somebody tried to stop the bishop from ordaining me. Why? Did you have a row with anybody? Not at all. You know that. You know how this unknown person discovered the history of my childhood. But father. Yes. <laughs> was your childhood so bad that anyone would want to use that instinct? Well, I was born. I was abandoned. bothered by the story. Forget it. It is all history now. <laughs> the will of God in my life has prevailed. Forget it. Father, please, I want to ask you for one thing. Yes, what is it? There's a place I want to visit tomorrow. And I want you to accompany me. I will, I will. But that's for the after morning mass. That'll be fine, Father. Thank you very much. Bon appetit. <laughs>
want to see Mama. Which Mama? Mama Ucha. Oh, <coughs> Mama Ucha. She passed on two years ago. May have so rest in peace. Amen. Sir, what about her child? Which child? You mean the baby and the girl uh, abandoned in her house? That heartless and the hopeless sweet girl. Good for nothing. I wish I could lay my hand on her. Please, sir, please, where is the child now? We had to take uh, the child to the baby, uh, modelless uh, baby home uh, in the city. Where is he located, sir? Mm. Number five, uh, Alaoma Street, uh, Umudema, Ikejo. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. God bless you, sir. Um, excuse me. Um, from your appearance, I know you are people of God. If I may ask, what is going on? Yes. Um, we are. We are. We used to be my mother's friend. Mama's friend. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you, sir. Uh, thank you. Mama's friend. Who's my mother's friend? Mama's friend. find out the whereabouts of a baby boy that was brought here years ago by one Mama Ucha from Umama village here in Ikeji. Yes, yeah, she brought a baby boy here, named Emmanuel. The boy disappeared with another boy from this place. Did you say Emmanuel? Yes, Reverend. He and another boy named Bobby. Bobby? Yes. Please, sir. Please, Father, we'll talk about it later. Father, what do you do now? Thank you very much. God bless you. Amen. I thank you for a day like this. Father, I've just found out the child I abandoned many years ago. He's now your servant, Emmanuel. I'm so confused and worried. I do not know how to handle this hard situation. Please, Father, have mercy on me and intervene, Lord. If I knew he was still alive, I wouldn't have gone to the convent to become a sister. Father, help me. I pray to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh God, have mercy on me. <laughs> oh my heavenly Father, please give me the peace, patience, and self-control that I need to understand what is happening to me. It seems the truth about my childhood is about to be revealed. Take control, Father. I pray through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Lord, let me know what is going on. Father, when I was in the world, 
one day I found out I was pregnant. I was so afraid my father would kill me if he found out. And I had no courage whatsoever to tell the boy that did it to me. So I ran away from school. A schoolmate of mine took me to the village where I had my baby. <laughs> When Mama Ocha, the woman that harbored me, was pestering me to let my parents know I had delivered the baby, I had to run away again, leaving my baby in her house. <coughs> but when I repented and embraced God, I went back to the village to see my child. But unfortunately, Father, unfortunately, <laughs> no one could tell me the way about her, my mother and my child. <laughs> it was then that I took it up. My child was dead. Father, when I heard your story, I became so confused and I decided that we'll go and find her together. We went to the old man, the story of the motherless baby home. And I don't I was so Sister. Are you my mother? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Little wonder when I stepped my foot into that motherless baby's home. I recognized it as a place I had been before. Something reminded me of how I and Bobby escaped from that place. But sister, who is my father? <laughs> father Babylonia. Father who? Oh my God! The problem is that he doesn't even know he had a son. But I did not tell him I was pregnant. And I've been keeping it from him. I don't know what his reaction should be now if I disclose it to him. Sister. <laughs> Let us go and see for the bath immediately. Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, good morning, Father. Uh, good morning, Father Bobby. Uh, a nice parish. Yeah, everything's all right. Yeah, everything's all right. But I have something I want to discuss. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, what is it? Father, I'm being seriously tempted by the young women in my parish. I've prayed about it, but I still want you to give me some pictures of our parish. Yes, Father Bobby. You took the right step by coming to me. You know, the problem change is a problem past. Take hold of your mind and sanctify it. Don't allow any negative or unclean thing to grow there. Bobo, choose the things you want to think of. And to grow everything into the mistakes. I will well with you. Father, I have something to disclose to you. What is it? It has now dawned on me that no matter what a man does on earth, the will of God must always prevail. You remember what you and I had before we repented? Well, but something happened to me that I did not tell you. 
because I was so afraid and thought my father would kill me if he found out. So I ran away and had my baby in a remote area of town. After I embraced the Lord, I went back to the village where I abandoned my baby, only to find no trace of him. I assumed then that he was dead. But when I heard the story of Father Imar's childhood, I became uncomfortable. I decided to go back to the village where I had my baby in the company of Alaima. And on reaching there, I saw an old man who told me that Mama Ucha, the woman who harbored me and helped me to deliver my baby was dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then after the child, he told me that he was taken to a motherless baby home. With the address he gave to me, I was able to trace where the model is the baby's home was located. <laughs> it was from the information I got out there that I discovered my son. <laughs> Father Ima is my son. Our son. <laughs> Why? Why? Why are you doing this to me, Esther? This is a very serious mistake that you've done. If you have told me you are pregnant for me, this man is going to be prevented. God. <laughs> I'm sorry. But please, I am sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes, I know you're sorry. I know. But the damage has been born. Jesus. God. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgiveness belongs to God. What are we going to do now? <laughs> yes! Yes, and no forgiveness belongs to God. <laughs> Are we to resign and get money for the sake of our soul? Oh my God! Why is this <laughs> the choice is ours. <laughs>